I know sometimes people roll their eyes when auditors come along because they say, oh man, they're just, they ask us to sit down and go through all of these, uh, you know, methods of doing an annual risk assessment and annual disaster recovery test and a business continuity test and an incident response test. I mean, can we, can we consolidate these things? Can we just check a box somewhere? I hope you understand that the reason that we push for these things is each one of those is very important. And I specifically want to address now for Common Criteria 7.4 why an incident response test is so critical. If people on your team are not used to responding to incidents on a daily basis, and that's most of our customers, you know, they don't have a group of people in an environment where there's an incident every day and they're just getting more knowledgeable and stronger and better every day. You know, these, these incidents that maybe rise to the level of critical only happen a couple times a year. And you've got people on the team who aren't very well practiced or versed in that. And so what's the value of an incident response test once a year? It's an opportunity to go into the conference room, sit down, take three scenarios and say, we're going to walk through these three scenarios. You know, this server crashed. Um, we just got an alert uh, that this data was stolen. Um, and, you know, the third thing is we just found out that one of our um, former employees left and they're using information that they have in order to try to attack our systems and get some type of retribution against us because they hate us. And, you know, these are just three examples that you might just throw on the table and say, Let's walk through these. What would we do? How would we respond? What type of resources would we need? What kind of tools would we employ? Let's practice going through some of this. The reason that's so valuable is because even if that specific example doesn't happen in real life, some element of what you practice will come up in a real life situation. And you'll be very thankful that you figured out some resources that you could call during the heat of the moment and you identified some tools that you could have at your disposal to help out with incident response. And so doing a test every year shouldn't be just uh, a motion that you go through to just satisfy an auditor. It really should be real practice to pre prepare your people for the real thing. So think about your next incident response test and how you can make it better so that you can learn from it and be better prepared for the real situation.